all right my family i welcome you to my new tutorial on c programming my name is Darlington fadams on this youtube channel in this course i'm going to take you through the entire programming language of c and you will learn how to use c to write computer software that will really make a difference in your life so let's get started if you are learning this as a student if you are learning this as a developer who wants to get more experience or if you're a beginner who knows nothing about programming then this is a course for you all you have to do is to subscribe to this channel and let's get into the course this first tutorial is on the introduction to C++ and in my subsequent tutorials I'm going to teach you how to set up and how to use the programming language to create real-world applications so let's get right into the introduction to C++ what is C++ C++ is a cross-platform programming language just like any other programming language out there like Java like Objective-C like Python like PHP this is a programming language which is cross-platform meaning it works in desktop it works in mobile it works in all other platforms web web platform in the cloud c++ is a cross-platform programming language and it can be used to create high performance applications such as games operating systems device drivers office applications web applications desktop and mobile applications so this is what this programming language is all about if you want to create computer software then this is what you should be learning you should learn how to write code with c++ all right so why do we use c++ because c++ is one of the world's most popular programming languages it is so popular another reason is that most popular applications were developed with c++ so there are several applications i'll be showing you some of them in a minute there are so many applications that were developed in c++ and c++ is widely used across the world so this is one reason why you should learn c++ most companies rely on c++ applications c++ is a high-ranking cross-platform programming language it is a high-ranking programming language not only is C++ one of the most popular it is a high-ranking language if you want to learn programming if you want a language that pays more C++ is one of the languages you should be learning and last but not the least C++ is fun and easy to learn so in this course I'm going to take you through C++ training and I'm going to teach you how to use C++ right from the beginner level. Let's look at some of the real world applications written with C++. So if you all know, Google Chrome was created in C++. Adobe Photoshop was created in C++. Adobe Illustrator, Adobe Acrobat Reader was created in C++. And if you believe it, Microsoft Office Word was created with C++ or let me say a big part of Microsoft Word was created with C++ a major part of Excel was created with C++ Microsoft Access PowerPoint just to name a few most Microsoft Office applications are created with C++ together with other languages but a major part of Microsoft Office applications are all created with C++ let me give you a brief history about C++. C++ was designed to be a successor to the C programming language. So as you all know, we have a programming language called C. And C++ was created to, to be a successor to this programming language. C++ was developed by Behan Strastrup at Bell Labs over a period of time starting in 1979. Since C++ is an attempt to add object-oriented features plus other improvement to C, earlier it was called C with object. So like I said, C++ was created as an improvement to C. So we have a programming language called C 
and C++ is an improvement to C and so they just added the plus plus to show that there is an addition to C so if you if you know the programming language called C there is a better one called C++ alright so as a language develop Strastrop named it C++ in 1983 and the name suggests that C is incremented so we have the programming language called C and it is incremented so in programming we use the word plus plus to show an increment so if you have a variable called C and if you want to add an increment to the variable you just need to add plus plus and if you put it in a loop the variable is going to increase in value in every single loop so C++ is the next level after the programming language C and so if you learn C++ you learn C++ C++ is not a new language yet it is one of the popular languages and it is widely adopted and still being improved the latest version of C++ was released in 2017 and it is called C++ 17 so in this first tutorial I'm just giving you a quick overview of the whole course a quick overview of the programming language and to wrap up this first tutorial let's write a simple code in C++ and run it so I will go onto my desktop and look for my IDE here I'm using Visual Studio Code to write a simple code in C++ so I have Visual Studio Code starting up and I'm going to create a new file let me just click on new file and over here it tells me to select a language so I click here select a language which language should I program in we have a language called C we also have a language called C sharp but then we are working with C++ so we have C as a language a complete language but then we have C++ which is a better version of the C programming language so let's click on C++ and we have a new environment to write our code in C++ before we start let me save this I go to file and save and let me save this in my projects in my tutorials let me just call it demo demo.cpp that stands for C++ and I will click save so my demo file is saved right here and now I'm ready to write some code all right so to write my code let me just go ahead and write um, my include my IO stream and let me use namespace std create my int main and um, let me write my c out hello world break the line and return zero and this is my first code so this is a very first code every c++ programmer should write and this code is a code that will print hello world to the terminal so i'm going to run this code and i'm going to show you what the code does before that let me save go to file and save now it is saved let me run it so i come right here i click on run and i'm going to see in my terminal i see hello world this is C++ programming. I want to thank you for joining me in this first tutorial. In my next tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to set up and be ready for C++ and after that, we will get into programming and we'll write serious codes and we will learn the language very well and become good programmers. Don't forget to subscribe, like and share this tutorial with all your friends on social media.